Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right-hand corner, we've got Jiraiya starting as the off-gray Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we got Toron Spider. Chilean Zerg starting as the green Zerg. It feels redundant to say Chilean Zerg and then green Zerg. Or teal, whatever. This E, I should have checked the map. This is going to be on Polypoid to start. Jiraiya, check out his stream. Fun guy. He's usually a 2v2 player, but a pretty solid Zerg player. I do not know much about Toron Spider. I will say that I'm surprised. From what I know, Chili has really amazing Terran players. That might result in strong Zerg play, ultimately, but I don't know of a lot of notable South American Zerg players now that I think about it. A lot of notable South American Terran players for some reason. In the meantime, the Overlord Scout is going to be an advantage of Torrent Spider. We'll see how his play develops. And we'll see if Jiraiya is going to go for that. So I feel like when you're on a four-player map and you don't end up seeing the Overlord cross Overlord, Overpool feels like the thing to do. But an in-base second hatchery, this is one thing being a 2v2 player is you can do it all because you got all sorts of builds under your belt. In-base second hatchery. And that's going to be a 9 hatchery on top of it. Unfortunately, where this would have been fantastic in other circumstances, I think it's going to be a little bit negated because of this Overlord Scout. Torn Spider going for a 12 hatch himself. Now, Jiraiya's follow-up is going to be, for certain, a Zergling Flood. And it is going to be a challenge for Torn Spider because he's going to have to defend the low ground and his ramp. He's going to have later Larva to work with but a slightly stronger economy. So let's see if he can hold on. And I presume it is conceivable that Jiraiya would shift this into a quick layer build, but unlikely. Usually when you, you, you have the additional larva and you're not grabbing this natural expansion down here, it usually means you want those larva to get zergling speed and just go for the, the flood race from there. Big advantage for Spider is he's gonna see precisely how many zerglings are coming out and in what numbers. And on top of that, and actually I'm wondering if there's going to be a recovery here from Jiraiya, where once he recognizes the Overlord's in his base, maybe then, if he's not dedicating, if he spots it ahead of time, which he should spot it right about now, what he could do is he could save the gas and opt to not go for Zergling speed. So right now the initial Zergling, and you, you can see it's eight Zergling to start. No, he did in fact pull off gas, is going to go, so he's just going to dedicate with the build he's got. Natural expansion in play, third Toron Spider going for an in-base third hatchery himself, not canceling the hatchery here to make sure he maintains a larva lead. I don't know that I don't know enough about Zerg versus Zerg to say whether this is going to play off or not. Potentially, so this is going to give him equalized larva. That is going to potentially, if he can sneak a drone, allow him to produce more. However, he's going to be down Zergling speed, and Zerglings, when they have speed, are just more intelligent. So Jiraiya probably going to hold, continue to build a pile of Zerglings at the natural, until Zergling speed finishes, and then Toron Spider needs to hold on and try to make something happen there. It looks like Jiraiya actually going to go ahead and grab his natural expansion behind this. Interestingly enough. So this is weird. Okay, so speed finishes for Jiraiya. He recognizes that there's equivalent amount of Zerglings on the ground. So going to try to fold back out of this to grab his own hatchery here. Two Zerglings trying to scout around, but they've got speed. Oh man, and one gets in! So Jirai able to scout the additional base on top of that, that's going to force a drone, a few drone to defend off the line. So that's a, a, a small economic hit on Torrent Spider, and that's actually significant. But now, Jiraiya knows that it's a counter Zergling flood his direction. Zergling speed now finished for Toron Spider. Just about. So it's going to be Zergling versus Zergling. Toron Spider dropping an evolution chamber on top of everything else. Maybe to get... We'll see if it turns into plus one weapons. Or if it turns into uh, armor. This is turning into a crazier ZVZ than even usual. This is why I love Zerg versus Zerg, actually. A lot of people complain about this matchup. As far as, from a viewer standpoint, I think it's really entertaining. And Torn Spider does have the 150 dropped here. 
I assume that's going to be for Carapace. I'm waiting for the, the resources to scale in. He's also dropping a couple additional drones. So the drone count actually even. Jiraiya up a smidge of supply in the form of two Zerglings right this second. But in a more defensive start, we're going to see Carapace building for Tower on Spider. So he wants to get it done with Zerglings alone. Dry in the meantime, building a Zergling wall. So you've heard of the Great Wall of China. This is the Great Wall of whatever Zerg is made out of. What is Zerg made out of? I, the, the word that comes to mind potentially is flesh. But it doesn't seem entirely accurate. It's some, maybe slime? Something like the creep? Seems like what they're more created out of. In the meantime, Dry has tacked on a few additional drones. Has he started mining gas again? He has started mining gas on top of everything else, but Torrent Spider moving in position to test the front door. Sutton Colony dropped. So Dry now economically up, but does have to defend home court advantage. Took some free hits there on some Zerglings, and he can't afford that right this second. Trying to surround that Sutton Colony. Sutton Colony finishes now engaging wholesale. And supplies dropping rapidly on both ends. Some of Jiraiya's Zerglings having trouble engaging in the front. The Sunk Colony's down. The drones having to defend themselves. And it looks like Zerglings being built both directions. Jiraiya holds. And has a bit... Of, it still has the three drone lead, but I don't know if he... Did he get the Overlord in? He hasn't gotten the Overlord in to recognize that Carapace is on the way. And there's more Zerglings being constructed. Sending out a single Zergling to see what he's up against to follow. Tech Delayer, and the I believe by the time the Spire is finished, Carapace is going to be finished, which is going to be a huge advantage in Toron Spider's uh, field. So I have a feeling this might be a Toron Spider win as all things play out, but there's still the execution that needs to happen behind it. The Slime Wall once again being generated. And Carapace continues to eke forward. Zergling spreading out. And what now kind of the thing is to hide it. But this is going to be another play here. Once Jiraiya moves up and sees that evolution chamber. Let's see. He's going to have a smidge of time to react. And if he drops two sunken colonies. That might be sufficient. So right now comes into range. Sees the evolution chamber. So is he going to produce more Zerglings? Or is he going to try to drop the sunken colony? Right now he's paused. No, he is dropping the Spire, but yeah, he's going to need some additional Sunkens to provide the defense. And I don't think this Sunken Colony... I think he needs more than just one, and I don't think this is going to be in time either. Because Carapace is finished, the Zerglings are on the move. And definitely going to need a second, so that's going to start morphing, but it's going to morph in the middle of the battle. So Drya with the true drone lead, if he can hold, that'll be a victory, but he's going to have to do it uphill. Currently engaging, second sunk colony morphing. The first sunk colony looks like it's going to finish. Torn Spider pushing in. The Zerglings flooding back to the natural, allowing that sunk colony to get exposed, trying to aim along that drone line. Torn Spider now working on the second sunk colony. Drones pulling off the line to try to defend as well. And it looks like Jiraiya with the two sunk colonies might have just barely held. Also grabbing... Yeah, held that sunk colony under severe damage. I'm looking for more Zerglings to make their way across. Trying to hold his ramp. The drone's now remining at that bottom right. So Jiraiya holds the lead. And if he can get some Mutalists out in the, uh, in the air. As that Spire finishes. That should be victory. No gas from Torrent Spider. He's just going to try to do it on pure Zergling. But Jiraiya, keep in mind, has plenty of larva to work with so he can keep building Zerglings and going for Scourge interestingly enough maybe to try to uh, take out an Overlord or also get a Scout to see if there is a a shift back so Scourge in the air kills the Overlord that puts Torrent Spider in the red meaning he can't he's got to go now Mutalists are just going to finish as the Zerglings are flooding forward so if Jiraiya holds he wins Sutton Colony taking damage. But it looks like with that clever kill of the Overlord interior to base, that's going to be game. And Jiraiya takes it, is going to advance to the winner's match. Well played altogether. Very, 
very fun ZVZ in opening stages. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.